Okay, so welcome back. This is video number six, and this is what we call the consumption boost. So we talked briefly about different ways to increase the consumption rate, but how can we increase it further? Now, before we can understand that, we need to talk about uh, a big problem. All right, so one of the reasons that people stop in the middle of a course is that they are overwhelmed. Now, we talked briefly about this in the previous videos, but this is a big problem. People get anxiety. People get, you know, stressed out when they get in the middle course and they think, oh, this is so much information. I'm getting information overload. They start to second guess themselves and they start to have paralysis analysis. They ask all these questions, which then prevents them from actually moving forward. So how can we combat that? So the best way to avoid this is by what we call drip feeding. Drip feeding content, uh, the idea is simply to space things out so that people receive video one, video two, maybe the first day, maybe they have to do a to-do list uh, before they actually come go to video number three. So what we found over the years is yes, it can be annoying to some people, and a lot of people get annoyed that by that because they are expecting all the videos at one time. But by giving them all the videos at one time, they don't realize that it actually goes against their success. So if you are going to do drip feeding, you may want to mention that in your introduction video and say, look, we've created this course to ensure that you have a high rate of success, that you are able to implement everything that we're gonna teach you. So that's something to keep in mind. So like I said, a lot of people get annoyed by that, but like I said, in reality, your students are more likely to implement what you tell them if you space things out. So instead of giving everything on day one, you can spread it out. Now, the nice thing about LearnDash and other WordPress plugins is a lot of them enable you to drip feed. That's a very standard option these days. Now, you really need to weigh things out. Is that something you really need? Because if your course is very simple, maybe you don't need that. But if it's highly technical, a lot of times you will need that. So that's just something to bear in mind. Knowing your audience is key. So if your audience, let's say, for example, is a lot of, a lot of newbies, you want to make sure that you space things out. So now what I want to do is uh, jump on over to LearnDash and show you around and show you the drip feeding feature and how to go about implementing that. OK, so drip feeding your content is uh, very easy to implement. All you have to do is simply go to your course. In this case, we have philosophy. You want to go to your builder and underneath your builder, you're going to have uh, different lessons. So this is one lesson. This is lesson two. And within the lessons, we have two different topics for each. So let's say we want to release this immediately. And then we want to release this maybe two days later. So this one, we don't have to do anything because this is what they see first. This one will have to delay it by two days. To do that, it's really easy to do. You just click edit like that. And what that will do is it'll go into that particular lesson. And we want to go to settings. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's going to say lesson release schedule. So this is the drip feed option. You can either have the lesson be made available immediately. So by default, they're all going to be made available immediately. It says here, the lesson will be available X days after course enrollment, or the lesson will be available on a specific date. So specific date, the only time that you would use that is if you would have like a live class kind of thing. So most of you would use something like the enrollment based. So if we want to delay it by two days, you would simply enter two days like so. And that's it. So when you're done, you simply click update here. 
and that's it. So that's what you're going to want to do if you take a look at the, the map per se. So we got videos one, two, three, four. Let's say that the individual videos are topics that are in two different lessons. So videos one and two are in lesson number one and three and four are in lesson number two. So what we can do there is looking at the map, we see what we need to do and we simply impl implement that. So if we have like a third lesson, you would simply go to that lesson like we did here and simply click on enroll based and do it two days later. So let's say we have three different lessons. So one is immediately, the second one is two days later, and the third one, let's do four days later because you need to start it after the course enrollment. So that's just something to keep in mind as you implement the drip feed system. And that's it, that's all you have to do.